Woohoo! It's blended time! So glad to be back on this program. This video is of me updating one of three house models for a city scene I'm making, as well as the complications I came across. It's about six hours of work that I boiled down into five minutes. Now I'm not new to 3D per se, but it's been a long time since I've created any sort of 3D art. So getting back behind the wheel and trying to get this thing going has really been a lot of fun for me. Right now I'm creating some textures for these wood planks I've made. I'll be exporting them soon into an image creation program called Materialize, which is what I use to help create height, normal, and AO maps to get good details. And the first problem I had was when I was baking these texture cookies. No matter what I did, the ends of the logs were constantly lighter than what they should be when I was baking them. It must have taken me probably about an hour to actually figure out what it was that I was doing wrong. <laughs> and all it turned out to be was that I just simply put the texture into the wrong node. <laughs> and here's me flipping things around trying to really do anything just to figure out this problem. But once I had figured it out, it felt so good because it was such a pain in the uh, 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 um, the normals. Yep, that's what we're gonna go with. I would definitely recommend this program materialized to other 3D artists. It's a great tool to use when trying to create quick and easy normal maps, height maps. AO maps, as well as other maps that seem to come with it. I'm still trying to figure out what the whole edge smooth and metallic kind of can be used for. Metallic, I guess you could punch that into the, obviously, the metallic uh, part of the node, uh, the principal BSDF, but I, the other ones, eh, I guess roughness, I, okay, it just makes sense. It no, you should know where to put stuff now that I think of it, and I should really stop talking about this subject. I would flash their logo right now, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that. So you can find the link in the description to actually get this program. And it's free on GitHub. Okay, at this point I had a bit of a snag. I know not only was I noticing that my normals once again are kind of pushed too far, but I was also having an issue with my instancing. I could get the instance collection to work, but not only did I have to figure out how to push it back to center, mainly using the uh, offset within the collections tab which I found by myself which I'm actually kind of proud of but I was having an issue with the fact that once I tried to link all the instances together make them one object or one linked object they were it was crashing the program so I actually had to go back and do it individually this mix node that I'm using right here was suggested to me by Dodeca at Blend Artist I'm using it for the damage mask that it creates, allowing me to create that look where I've got the brick behind the uh, cement plaster wall. It was created by the Wayward Art Company, and I'll have a link in the description so that way if you need it, or want it, you can download it too. While I'm texturing in the background, I just want to take a second to say thanks for watching my video. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so don't worry about subscribing or liking. I'm just trying to figure things out right now, and I'm having fun doing it. And that's, I think, what the main point is at the beginning. Just find your groove, enjoy what you do, and put some epic music to it. Here's where I realized I deleted all my logs from my harbor. And don't worry, NP5, I'll get changing this later on when I have some time. Luckily, that whole issue I was having with my house wasn't the same issue I was having here. I was able to select everything, link it properly, select it randomly, redo the links so that way it was a different log, so it just was way easier and a lot faster. 